we've looked at 3D printing in previous predictions. So where are we now in the market? 2015 is going to be a pretty big year for 3D printing. 220,000 printers sold, worth over $1.6 billion, and that's 100% growth over previous years. So with $1.6 billion worth of printers, are we realizing the vision of a factory in every home? Well, there's a lot more than 220,000 homes in the world. But even leaving that aside, although 70% of the volume of printers sold will be to consumers, that's not where the money is. When you look at the dollar value of those enterprise-grade 3D printers, 90% of the dollar value will come from the enterprise, 95% of the objects ever made will come from the enterprise, and 99% of the economic value of that output will come from enterprise 3D printing, not consumer. So I can clearly see the benefit for enterprise, but so what is the rationale for consumers? Why are they buying these 3D printers? Well, why isn't it bigger, really? Um, well, look over my shoulder. Most home 3D printers, the ones that are less than $1,000, make small plastic objects slowly and expensively. There are very few things we need. As, as a person who has four kids of his own, I'll tell you that when they were young, there was no shortage of small, sharp plastic objects on the floor of my home. When we look at them, they are also hard to use. Only 10% of these printers are plug and play. So there's a significant effort in calibrating them and getting the temperature exactly right. And finally, most consumers aren't that interested in making these kinds of devices. Limited functionality, difficult to use. It is not yet a market that most consumers are interested in. Okay, so that's the case for consumers, and that's pretty clear. So you talked about the enterprise value. So how exactly is that manifesting? There's a huge benefit in the area of rapid prototyping. Historically, for a car company to make a sample uh, side view mirror cost days and thousands and thousands of dollars. With a 3D printer, you push a button, you enter a CAD CAM file, a computer design file, and the object comes out in a few hours. And if you don't like it, you do it again and again and again until you get it exactly exactly right. It's all about not so much saving money, but making the perfect object as well as making it faster. It's all about time to market. The other big use aside from prototyping is actually in the manufacture of tools, of molds, casts, dies, jigs. These kinds of objects are part of the manufacturing process. Some 3D printers are being used for final part production, but that tends to be the smaller part of the market in 2015 with less than 10% of usage. So the conclusion is for 2015, 3D printers are go, but mostly in the enterprise and not yet in the home. That's correct.